You ever do something you're not really proud of? Me too. I like to keep myself totally open and honest, and today I'm going to talk about a really embarrassing mistake that I made at a 420 party that I went to only last year. I've always been a pipe guy. I started smoking on a spoon, and then I finally upgraded to bongs and water pipes that became my preferred method of choice. Whenever I opened up 420 pipes, I realized that I had a huge gap in my knowledge, and I had to start learning so that whenever I showed up to a party, I could hang. Before this, I was a banker, so in my circles, I was all already the biggest stoner of the group. However, stepping into this business field made me realize that I had to become an expert. So I started experimenting with other ways to get high and then everybody around me started smoking blunts. So I realized, oh my god, I have to learn how to roll a blunt. Everybody else knows how to roll a blunt. This, is, this can't be, this is a travesty. So I learned how to roll off of a tutorial here on YouTube. I don't know if that video like instructed you how to roll a spliff, but I thought that most blunt smokers enjoyed spliffs, like they wanted to have some of the tobacco left inside the blunt. I learned how to roll them, I would smoke maybe one a week. I don't don't like tobacco I started realizing that one of the reasons that I was enjoying doing this so much is probably just because I wanted to get a nicotine fix and so I really stopped smoking blunts well last year I got invited to a small 420 party after hours at Prairie State Hemp there was only a few people there my wife Hallie and I went there fully prepared to hang as a side note if you're familiar with my business partner Ellen who's in these videos the podcast and works with me every day she was also there but she was invited by this other dude who I'm not gonna name drop we got there and basically formed a giant smoke circle in the back of this shop. Everybody was getting extremely lit for 420. There was a guy there that ate a weed brownie before he even came. He was high as shit. This is the highest I had been in a long time. And they started rolling blunts and they passed me a pack. They're like, Nick, why don't you roll up? Do you know how to roll? I'm like, this is one of my first impressions that I'm making with this dude. So I gotta show that I actually know how to roll a goddamn blunt. I roll a spliff. I don't tell anybody because I assume that's how most people want to smoke blunts since they are made from tobacco anyway. And I put it in the circle. I was immediately intimidated. The other dude that was rolling only smokes blunts. So he opened up a pack, cut that open with his fingernail, dumped it, and rolled it. All while I was still putting the product inside of my blunt. And whenever he sealed it, there was like no line. Like you couldn't even see that it was busted open. And it was smooth. Mine starts going around the circle. I'm the first person to hit the blunt, and I think, ooh, this is pretty good. Pass it over to my wife. She's used to my shenanigans, so she doesn't say anything. And we pass that over to Sam. Sam thought, man, for some reason, this is really harsh. He passes it over to the G who had rolled the other blunt. He hits it and starts coughing up a lung, and he's like, yo, is this a spliff? Is there tobacco in this? It's so harsh. And I'm like, yeah, of course there's tobacco in it. What are you talking about? It's a blunt. And they all started laughing and told me never to do that again. So fortunately for me, it didn't end my career. I didn't get canceled. Although it is one more embarrassing thing that I've done in front of some of my business partners. So what I learned that day is tobacco is bad. Even whenever you're smoking blunts, nobody wants tobacco. Always empty it out. And definitely don't put a spliff in the circle. What's wrong with you? I still get made fun of for that to this day, but I own up to it. I made a mistake. And I'm here to tell you the story. If you liked my story, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Peace out.